Hello, Infographics fans! Once more, we're here to answer the most pressing questions in life, and the questions you're most curious about. This time, we're tackling on the fashion industry, or at least one small part of it, and asking what exactly happens if you don't wear underwear for a month. To help answer this question, we're once more turning to our favorite staff writer who so bravely took on this challenge because we told him to. I mean, because he too is a brave pioneer of science, always seeking to answer the unknown for your educational pleasure. So stay tuned as we see what happens if you go commando for a month for science. Day 1 I stared at my inbox for a full 30 seconds when I got the notification for this next challenge. I don't think I quite knew how to respond. Girlfriend immediately realized something was up. She knows about what time I set up to start doing work stuff, and when she saw my face, she must have realized it was another challenge episode. She narrowed her eyes and practically growled, what is it this time? She's like a freaking bloodhound, that one. When I told her though, she just laughed and she got really serious for a second and said, I wish I'd lied to my parents about what you did for a living. Honestly, sometimes I do too. No underwear for a month? Who comes up with these? Are these fan suggestions? Can you guys please suggest what happens if I go on a tropical vacation for a month so the show will send me to Hawaii? So this one seems easy enough, except I know better. I used to go commando a lot in the military, especially during my time in the desert, because the temperature routinely got up over 100 degrees. At those temps, you sweat so much down there that it's unbearable, so I opted to go underwear free, and let me tell you, it felt amazing. Turns out your body is pretty good at regulating the temperature of your testicles so as to keep the sperm safe and healthy. That's the primary reason for why testicles evolved to be on the outside of most mammals, which admittedly seemed like a huge oversight on Mother Nature nature's part until I learned that fact. But having them be a few degrees cooler than the rest of your body when you're wearing body armor and all kinds of extra gear is amazing, except for when you have to suddenly hit the deck because somebody decided to start shooting. That's when not wearing underwear was definitely not a pleasant experience sometimes. See, desert camel pants are made of pretty thin material, and dropping your chicken tenders down onto some very stiff dried up grass or prickly plant definitely made you wish you stayed standing and risked a bullet. Not to mention if you ever dropped onto a scorpion, which are not as deadly as people think but their stings pack a wallop. It never happened to me, but I heard stories and they terrified me. But that heat… I stand by my decision. Even if, strangely, my greatest fear about ending up hurt was having one of those medics cut my uniform off in order to treat me and finding out I'm going full Scottish. That myth, by the way, about the Scottish not wearing underwear under their kilts is exactly that, a modern myth that enough people started believing that some kilt-wearing blokes actually tried to make true. Historically speaking, the Scots always wore underwear under their kilts, and some royal courts even had glass floors so that the king or commander could make sure his troops were properly equipped. Funny, I guess, some poor Scottish sap had the same idea I did about the comforts of going all free willy. Well, on to the challenge I guess. As usual, I'll update periodically with any observations. This should be interesting. Day 7 One week without underwear, and well, laundry is definitely easier. The girlfriend keeps being suspicious as if there's some part of this challenge I haven't let her in on yet. I guess I don't blame her, she's definitely seen me go through hell for these, and I guess she suffered a bit too for it. At least this one doesn't seem to be directly affecting her this time, so she's okay with the quote, my stupid job for a change. One thing I've noticed is, like I said, less laundry. That's nice, I guess, although I never end up folding the underwear anyways because it seems pointless and just toss it into the drawer. This drives the girlfriend absolutely nuts and is the reason we have separate dressers now. I do seem sweatier, though, which is weird because I'm wearing less clothes. I think maybe that it's not that I'm sweatier, but the freedom I'm currently experiencing is making me more aware of sweating that naturally occurs. I get nice wafts of fresh air down there when walking around, which by the way is amazing, and it makes me realize I'm sweaty. With underwear, you don't really get that. It's definitely made me rethink any time in the past that I've decided to postpone a shower. Day 14 so this Friday I had a flashback to high school and have rediscovered why underwear is a secret blessing. I would like all the guys in the audience to think back to their awkward teenage years and all the very sudden and very unwelcome, um, excitements that occurred with very little prompting. Thankfully though, underwear fits snugly and it helps rein in your Spongebob and Squidwards and make sure that your condition isn't publicly visible. Well, the girlfriend must have been thinking about this too and decided to be a freaking comedian. We went to a friend's house for game night, as we usually do, and as I was in the kitchen grabbing something, she slid up next to me and whispered some things in my ear that I won't repeat here. 
then started giggling. A moment later, our entire group of friends entered the kitchen, and I had to suddenly be very, very, very interested in the contents of the cabinet directly behind me so I could keep my front well out of sight as I fought to reclaim control over my excited Master Chief. I stood there, awkwardly with my back to my friends as I forced myself to think about every unsexy thought I could. My girlfriend is an evil genius, and it scares me that I think that fact makes me more attracted to her, not less. Day 21 So, I don't know if I have PTSD flashbacks to that Friday a week ago or if being free has sensitized me somehow, but definitely having a problem with random stimulus packages. Girlfriend tried to pull her little stunt again and I had to strike a very, very harsh bargain in order to get her to stop. This is a very serious situation. Basically, I'm making dinner and doing most chores until this is over. For once, I think she's actually happy for a challenge episode. I've noticed that I've been wearing a lot less jeans lately and have been hanging out in sweatpants most of the time when at home. Even though I work from home, I still try to dress normal, helps make sure you don't get stuck in a slovenly rut. But I've been avoiding jeans. The harsh material is definitely not pleasant when you're going commando, and I've been having panic attacks after using the bathroom remembering the one time as a kid that I accidentally zipped up my Woody Allen. Let me tell you, that's a pain you only need once in life, and every time I go to the bathroom, I am more careful than I've ever been in my life about zipping up since this challenge began. My military uniform had buttons, not a zipper, so it was never an issue in the past. Now it's a clear and present danger. Day 30 it's over, or at least it will be in a few hours. Honestly, not wearing underwear for a month reminded me a lot of what it was like to be a teenager, and I feel like the lack of protection has definitely sensitized me downstairs. I kind of think I'm going to keep doing this when I'm home alone and in sweatpants. It's actually quite nice. Man was born to be free after all, but in public I definitely have to warn you, wear underwear. Especially if your girlfriend knows you're not, and is as evil and malicious as mine, and loves to publicly humiliate you. Again, it scares me that I think I love her more for that than not. Now that your questions have been answered, dear YouTube, do me a favor and suggest a new challenge. What if you vacation to Hawaii for a month? 